Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Planar Conquest with No Fair Fights. We're going to attack a gateway, not because we need the gateway, but we need the loot. There are possible items, prisoners, spells or spell circles even here, and the threat level is low. However, the threat is not as low as you might think because they have got a basilisk. Now you ask, Boris, why is a basilisk so dangerous? Because a basilisk can do petrifying attacks in close combat, meaning he turns your figures of your units into stone. Why is that worse than being death? Well, because if figures in your units die and you heal the units for the necessary points of life, the figures will come back. That is not the case if they get petrified, because then they're still standing there, they cannot be healed. Those of you who have played Might and Magic 2, or made them any Might and Magic gate for that reason, know that if your heroes get petrified, you will first have to turn them into flesh again, and then you can rise them from the dead. And that is extremely annoying, so try to avoid enemies that can do that trick. And thank me later. Oh yeah, nice shooting. Will not use any acid arrows on the slimes because it does not work that way. They're immune to that kind of attack. Sadly. We shoot a little bit on the slimes already. How many life points do this guy? He has 27. If we use our last remaining acid arrow well, we might be able to... No, he does a good save. However, uh, we shoot this thing. 19. Excellent work. Why are we backstabbing this guy? I don't even care for that guy. Oh boy. He's on one life point. Just, just take that away, okay? And you shoot on that thing. For two damage? Are you kidding me? He's dead. At least that worked. Get away from that big, ugly thing. We're not doing even enough damage to kill that thing, are we? Now we are. Good work. We're getting a runic banded armor and disenchant area. Is that good? Can't even tell. Let's look at the armor. It is armor class 11. Maximum dexterity bonus plus 1. And electrical immunity. That is actually quite a good piece of armor. Oh boy. If we want to build an armor that has that much armor class, let me have a look. The best we can do is full plate armor. And then we give it, it has plus 8. So if we give him that, it will have a total of 11. And it's got an electrical immunity. Which puts it at roughly 1550 magic points just to get that thing here. Boy, that is great. The only problem is there are not a lot of people who can do electrical damage. Um, and what we get a spell, I think. Disenchant area, which is level 2. The attempt to dispel all enchantment or title, including units and cities. Okay. That isn't that bad. That isn't that bad at all. Okay. That was a good fight. I think we should get our asses back to uh, town. Because... I've got no idea what's here in this area. And this might really, really hurt a lot. So I think we should split up and look a little bit around. Can we split up? Do we have enough units? No, no one has enough movement points to split up. So we see each other next time when we split up and search for more treasure. Till then, bye!